Good morning, everyone. We're going to do, uh, this is Newburyport Center in Massachusetts. Uh, we did this before, but we're going to do it again. So sketch it out. Uh, sky, I'm just dropping in some cobalt blue. Um, it looks a little bit askew there in my video, but it's because of the slant, I think, of the, my board. Anyway, it's cobalt blue. Paint that down to the street line and then I added some uh, cadmium red to that to get a, a violet with a little bit of raw sienna to gray it down for the street this is the pavement the color of the pavement so and you can just bring that right down I'm painting around the cars there's three cars two big ones and one small one way off in the distance there and there's a couple of people on the sidewalk that I'm painting around, but uh, you don't have to be too careful. All right, I'm painting around the uh, white lines the, uh, on the street, you know, the, the walk lines. You don't have to do this. Um, you know, you could just paint the street and then later do it with gouache and just put a, put a couple of walk lines in. But anyway, I like to paint around it and I did, so here we are. All right. So you get that all done, and uh, if you want to pop some clouds in, just take a paper towel here and uh, shape your clouds carefully, you know, and let them float around. If you want to drop some uh, gray or darker blue in at the bottom of those clouds, you can do that. All right, I'm going right into the church steeple. This is a famous UU church in Newburyport is very beautiful uh, architecturally. It's, it's a wonderful church. Um, and I'm just painting it with a, a cobalt blue with a touch of raw sienna uh, to gray it down a little bit. And this is a lighter value. It's, this is a, the church is in on the behind the square, so it's behind the, the uh, big red brick buildings that we're going to put into it so it's just off in the distance and it's above them so you can keep it a little bit on the lighter side but you know it's strong enough so that it stands all right uh, we have three uh, three buildings in this scene and I'm gonna paint them at different values so that they seem a little bit off uh, you know turning one to the other instead of one big black mob that, uh, blob that you see in your photo. Uh, this is uh, ultramarine blue with cadmium red to make this violet. And I'm, you can see I'm pushing it towards the red here because it's the, a brick building. So the one in the middle, you can see that's a lighter value. So that's going to go back uh, in space when we, when we dry it. And uh, this left side of this front building is much darker than the right side. There's actually a curve there in, in the photo, but anyway, it's just these two values. One is lighter. And that gives you a little turn of the building. Then there's a building on the left. You can see I'm keeping a little tiny space between the buildings while they're wet. Okay, uh, I added a little bit of water and a little tiny bit of raw sienna to gray the roof down. So this is the color of the roof. Uh, there's a dormer up there that I'm totally omitting. And just bring that down. I painted it around. You can see there's a, a traffic light hanging in the middle of the photo here. All right. from the left. All right, then I just took some ultramarine with quinciana, very dark, and popping in these windows. Just take your time. Uh, you can see there's three levels, and you've got a bunch of them to put in, so, you know, just take your time, and, and it has to be done. So do it carefully. All right, we'll get on to the cars now. Uh, I'm going to start with the, uh, this is a rear window in this car on the right, and this is uh, Windsor Blue. I'm using Windsor Blue in the windshield, uh, the rear windshield here, and I'm leaving a little spot where the, where the sun is reflecting on the, 
on the windshield and then there's a, the other car on the left same thing a little lighter value this car is coming towards us all right so this is a darker value a little bit of uh, you know a little ultramarine with a with a touch of queen sienna darker in that side window we can't see is the uh, underline of the car on the carriage and then the wind the uh, wheels All right, and that is a shadow under the car. Shadows are so important because they really establish the, the bottom of the car there. Leave just a little bit of light shining through. That always helps. Okay, there's the shadow sitting that car right down. We'll get the face. Uh, the face of this car is, the car is backlit. Both cars are backlit, so it creates this box type shape. A uh, little bit of work on the uh, hood there. A little shadow on the side of the car. Bring that down. All right, same thing over here. The car's backlit, so the back of the car is going to be very dark. Uh, and do the same thing, ultramarine with a little touch of Quincyana. I actually picked up a little bit of the blue, uh, Windsor blue there to add a little color to it, but very little. All right, same thing. Rear of the car. The tires, the shadow under the car, again, very important to establish that. All right. Shadow under the car. All right. There's a car up on the right there. It's a small, it's going off in the distance, turning the corner. I added some red to that, uh, to the rear of it, into the into that dark paint that I use. And while I have the red, I'm popping these tail lights in, and a couple of lights in the front of that car. There's a flight of stairs in the back. Uh, creates a little sidewalk sort of elevation in the back there. It's it's a nice little walkway to like a plaza. It's a very beautiful square, real New England square. There's a, another little island there. And on that elevation, there's some uh, posts that are there. I, I think they're so cars can never run up there and hit a bunch of pedestrians, I guess. I'm not sure, but there's a bunch of them. And the stairs extend down to the sidewalk on that side, so pop those in. I'm restating the bottom of this car here. both cars a little darker shadow the tires emphasizing that darkness on the car just taking a little care on that car you want them to pop they're really important all right we're going to pop these figures in uh, there's their face and hands. I put a red top on this uh, woman, her legs, and I'm going to give her a pair of white shorts in a second, a white skirt. And then uh, on her partner there, we'll put a, put a black top, leave a little collar on it, and then uh, give him some jeans, a little ultramarine for the jeans. <coughs> All right, and we'll add a little, little shadow there. Okay. We'll put the chimneys in. There's four chimneys. Uh, this is cad. Uh, I'm sorry, cadmium red with cobalt blue. So we'll take a bunch of cobalt blue and add a little cadmium red to it. Uh, that should give you a pretty good chimney color. They're backlit, so they're very strong. I'm going to pop some figures in the background. They're very small. A bunch of people walking around the square there. You almost can't put too many. Very 
busy center. Alright, I'm using some uh, gouache here and just accenting the uh, the light when it hits the windshields. It, you know, it's a very bright light. And we'll put a little emphasis on the trunk back of the car, straighten out some of these walk lines. A little bit of a line down the middle of the street. Give that woman a scrub. And a little bit of a shirt. All right, we're going to pop the uh, traffic light in. A little red, yellow, and green there. Okay. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. This was a fun, uh, fun painting we did the second time. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you again very soon.